The Museum of Witchcraft is a creepy location in Fallout 4. The museum itself is located in the northeast portion of the map by the sea. You most likely heard about this location from a city guard in Diamond City. They'll tell you something went down over here and kind of update your map, hinting you to go check it out. When you arrive here, you'll find that the front door chained the is side. chained and uh, you can't get in. So let's have a look around outside and see what's going on. Do a little bit of investigating. Well, there's a destroyed home over here. Not really that big of a deal. The fenced in area. Now, here's a little bit of a secret. In between these uh, trees here, you'll find a rock, a hollowed out rock. This hollowed out rock has some ammunition, some caps, some st stems, some chems, and uh, a sniper rifle. Now, the note actually is connected to Fallout 3, and I have a video explaining the connection if you'd like to check it out. If you go behind the building here, where these trees are, you'll find some uh, headstones. But you also find a second hollowed out rock with all of the same contents as the first. And I kind of wonder if Bethesda did this so that uh, you didn't miss it, or maybe, maybe get a little extra boost. And supposedly those rocks um, refill their contents every so often, so you can just keep coming back here for stuff that you need. On the west side, we'll find, well, someone who had a bad day. They have a holotape. Let's listen to that holotape. Jeffries, Lee got the recorder working. So this the sort of detail you had in mind when you signed up for the Gunners? Hauling luggage from Lynn Woods for some robot butler? Uh, what was his name? Uh, Wellington? <laughs> Wellingham? Not now, Private. Where's Connors? He's not at his post. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. The lieutenant said he found some tracks. Wanted to check them out. Private Martin. Tracks? What track? What the hell is that? Oh, my. Connors! Where, where's the rest of him? <sighs> Jesus. Found us. Sergeant Lee, grab the case. Do not let that thing out of your sight. Everyone inside the museum, now! Major! Major, what found us? Well, something, something happened, and they all went into the museum. Let's go find out what happens in the museum. Now, the museum is, well, the inside of the museum, let's say, is kind of a dark place, so let's turn the light on. Oh, we can hear something, actually. Snarling and growling. Creepy. Well, we got a toolbox here. Let's see what's inside. Got it. Uh, a bit of ammunition, bottle caps, and some, uh, well, we'll take the duct tape. That's important stuff right there. So far, this place is pretty disheveled. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Something is, well, something bad. If you really want to make this place creepy, you can turn the light off and just go real deep into the creepiness. Let's have a look in this room here. Bit of a playroom. Not too much for this. And then we have some creepy mannequins. Of course we have creepy mannequins. Why wouldn't we have creepy mannequins? Now we did go through this door, but what's over here? A creepy room with a single skeleton at a desk. That's not creepy at all. Oh, don't want to forget the first aid kit here. Our first aid box. Up in here, we have a teddy bear for those who want a teddy bear, or want a teddy bear for the leather. As we go past the creepy mannequins, we'll find a box under the stairs. Sweet. So let's head up the stairs and hopefully don't get horribly murdered by whatever it is causing all the noise. Over here by the lamp, we'll find another uh, tool case. 
with a few things in it. Not too much. Another first aid kit. And over here we find ourselves a, a gunner. With a missile launcher on it. Hmm. Something big and scary took out a guy with a missile launcher. That might be something you need. Of course, we have a big mess here. This is where one of the... Uh, you can see that's where the gunners fell down. Or one of them fell down. We have more creepiness over here with mannequins. It's always with the mannequins, isn't it? Now, at this point, I'm going to shut off my light and go into stealth. Because what we're about to encounter is big and scary. I'm going to creep over to this corner here and not move. And what we have here is the cause of the gunner's demise. A death claw. What kind of death claw we got? Is it bog standard? Ooh, it's a mythic death claw. Or as I like to say sometimes, my thick death claw. You know what? Let's uh just be a little stabby stabby. Ooh. No wonder the uh, gunners were all blown to bits. Death claws have a tendency to to hit you and you just kind of fly to bits. Very unfortunate. On the south side of the wall, between two mannequins and a desk, you'll find uh, Grognak the Barbarian. Perfect. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do 5% damage. Very nice. Turn the light back on now that the big threat has been taken care of. Then we're going to have a bit of a look around. Really, there isn't much in this room here. Just a bunch of creepy mannequins. And, well, this is supposedly a witch burning. But, uh, you know. Now, I do imagine that one of these mannequins one day will be a, a synth. I bet there's a mod that you can install that make all these mannequins turn their heads to look at you. That'd be really kind of creepy. Oh, a broken lamp if you wanted one. So past the wall here, where the Death Claw came from, use a bit of a toolbox, stuff in it, very nice. And of course, the steamer trunk, which hopefully has what you're looking for. Ooh, frag grenades. Now as we find more gunners, just kind of lying around, being lazy. <laughs> we'll also start finding cracked Death Claw eggs. This was one spot we came in where they were being nasty. And of course, over here we find, well, what's left of Sergeant Lee. Sergeant Lee's hollow tape. But we actually find one pristine death claw egg. Well, let's see what the hollow tape says. A nest full of death claw eggs. A dozen, maybe more. Smashed to bits. Except this one wonder they wouldn't. Tell us what was in that case. If I'd known, I would have personally told the gunner bosses and that glorified liquor cabinet Wellingham to take those Diamond City caps and stuff. We know why that Death Claw tracked us all the way from Linwoods now. <laughs> we stole their damn case. Maybe. Maybe if we just return the eggs. Oh, hey, Mama. You looking for this? And here he is. Museum's visitor terminal. Then you're on the outside. Let's unchain this door. What do we got here? Not too much. Well, we know what happened here. Gunners took eggs. Deathclaw followed. Splat. Now, at this point in time, you have two options. You can return the Deathclaw egg to the Deathclaw nest. Or you can go to Diamond City and give it to Wellington. Let's see what both of those options look like. If you choose to complete the Deathclaw delivery, you'll have to head to Diamond City and speak to a robot named Wellingham. Wellingham is on the upper layer, or level, and he's this robot right here.
You waiting on a delivery? Of some death claw eggs, maybe? What are you? Oh, the eggs. Oh, you must be with those uh, gunny people. Though your superior had implied there would be more of you, but no. The negotiated so. fee was 200 caps per egg. Generous amount indeed, considering your tardy. Though our clientele do expect nothing short of the most pristine death claw eggs. Now, do you have something for me? Here. Take it. At last. But is this it? Where are the rest? <sighs> Sorry. That's the only one that made the trip. There were complications. Well then. I suppose this will have to do. Yeah, for a less than adequate job, but a job nonetheless. And the special request your superior made? Major Jeffreys, was it? I trust you can get this to its destination. Don't just go waving it around willy-nilly. Has my meal finally arrived? And so our reward for bringing the Death Claw egg to Willingham is some experience, because we're completing the quest. 200 caps and Wellingham's recipe. But the annoying bit is that Wellingham's recipe is not a recipe that you can actually access on the cooking station. So it's kind of not that great of a reward to be honest. Now if you choose to return the Deathclaw egg to the, uh, you know, Deathclaw nest, we'll have to do that by heading north and west. It's a bit of a trek, but uh, I'll show you how to get there. Take left at this bus and just continue to follow the road. Once you get to the top of this hill here, to avoid combat with critters, I suggest going left. And then you'll find a bit of a, uh, I don't even want to call this a gully or a trench or something like that. On the right, you'll see Parsons Insane Asylum. Let's just avoid that by going to the left because there are gunners there as well and they may not be too happy to see us. If you happen to have the slog as a location, you can fast travel there, and then just swim across the water. Discontinue to follow the shoreline. This will avoid combat with the, uh, the gunners. Eventually you'll meet a boat that's kind of upside down or turned over, however you want to call it. After that, you want to take a right and start heading inland. If you stay along this side of the little area, you can avoid being detected by the Mirelurks. Eventually you'll reach this location where there's a bit of a uh, big, uh, was it like a cliff or a wall or something like that, and you'll find the Deathclaw egg, or Deathclaw nest. And here you'll encounter the Deathclaw. Now, guess what? As long as you don't attack this Deathclaw, this Deathclaw will not be hostile to you. So you return the egg. But also, you can also get the Deathclaw Gauntlet. And thus completed the Devil's Due. Now, like I mentioned, as long as you are not hostile to this Deathclaw, you're going to be super friendly. Of course, you can't really get them to do anything. They'll just be here the entire game, being non-hostile to you. And you can... Look at the mess that they themselves have created. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and comment. If you're new here, please subscribe for future content. I'm really trying to get to a thousand. That'd be a real big help if you subscribed. With that out of the way, thank you for watching. I love your faces and uh, have a great day.